Hi everyone, welcome back to Legendary. It's another weekend, we are hungry again and I decided to do another video today with my friend Arian. I did one video with him a couple of weeks ago and a lot of people have watched it and enjoyed it so I decided to enjoy some nice Hainanese curry rice and some pork rib soup with him today which is called Rogucha here in Singapore and uh, after that we'll see what else piques our interests and I hope you will enjoy the video. Let's go eat! Our first stop today will be the Hainanese curry rice at Beach Road. As you can see it is located at the corner of a main road with seating possibilities inside and outside. We are at our first stop at Scissors Cut Curry Rice. We're gonna have some nice curry rice <laughs> and a lot of other meat dishes, veggies, and let's see what else they have for us today. So let's go. The food is already prepared and ready to be cut with a loud pair of scissors. The constant scissors sound define this place, therefore, the name. Scissors cut curry rice. We're going to select a couple of dishes including chicken chop, pork belly, braised tofu, some long beans, a mix of peanuts and anchovies, egg and pork chop. Of course, at the end they add some scoops of delicious curry sauce on top. So this is a super popular Hainanese curry rice place. It's, it's called um, Scissors Cut Curry Rice because they literally chop up everything with their scissors. Whatever options or meats or veggies you choose. So they cut it into bite sizes that you can eat it nicely. Preparing the food very very fast, so if McDonald's is called fast food, this place would be hyper fast food. I mean, it's literally ready by the time you're done ordering. <laughs> so fast, right? They, they cut, 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 cut. And actually, when you sit inside, you can hear the scissors all the time, non-stop. I think we are kind of out of rush hour at the moment, so we are quite lucky without uh, queuing. It is a shop on the street, on the side of the street. We are sitting outside here, um, pretty loud. Uh, surrounding so not a very fancy place but um, at least the food is good the food is relatively affordable we added a lot of dishes which is why it ended up uh, to being $16 for two plates I'd say it's a messy kind of plating but uh, it's a quick bite eat and go and also it's open until 3 a.m. so perfect for supper after a nice night out let's try the rice with the curry simply I mean, they do drown it with curry, right? Sauce, yeah. And the whole plate is full of curry. How's the food? Right now, amazing. <laughs> it's the first, the first bite. bite, and I'm so hungry. <laughs> Admittedly, I probably could have eaten anything and said that, but <laughs> but it is properly tasty. Oh. I'm very happy with how big a mountain of food there is. I've seen other people eat at this place, and uh, they say the pork belly is really nice. Dry. No, I think you're right. We had the tofu, the tofu is very good. The tofu is good. Raised tofu soaked in with all the curry sauce. So it should be very flavorful. Mm. When you bite into it, the whole flavor comes out. I'm happy with so much meat and veggie in one plate. It looks very messy. It does when you pile on 10 things. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> got a bit of an egg. Yeah. Cabbage. The pork and the chicken cutlet, admittedly. Yeah. With the curry sauce. Sort of blending together. The peanuts are good. They add like a bit of crunch. Yeah. Because everything else is quite soft. Yeah. With the sauce especially, right? Mm. So, Arian's recommendation is definitely get the peanuts. Mm. The tofu is really nice. Yeah. I don't know what it's marinated in, but good stuff. I don't know. I think braised tofu is supposed to be like this. Heaven. Mm. But you're right. The peanuts are adding a, um, a change. 
change to the whole soft texture of the yeah. whole plate. Because everything else I think is good, or well, most of the other stuff is quite soft. Exactly. I hope you're not full yet. That's right, we can start it. <laughs> and we go from there. Okay, so the peanut mix got um, nice anchovies in there, adding to the crunch. I'd say the meat is quite heavily coated in bread crumbs. Meat is very thin, but with the curry and the whole cohesiveness created here, quite tasty. So, it was not that spicy actually. Huh? No, I didn't. I didn't see any chili. I don't know if there was chili, but because a bit more chili would have been good. I um, associate normally curry with spice, yeah. like spicy. But this is not spicy. This is yeah. it's not spicy at all. No. Right? We finished the food at our first stop. We had this nice pile of food uh, drowned in curry sauce. And Aaron, uh, let us know. <laughs> let us know how you like the food here. So I'd say this is a good place to come if you're hungry. It's a good uh, like, amount of food, yeah. I think so, right? You get a good amount of food, like a lot of food for yeah. a good price, like eight dollars for the amount of food we got per portion. It's really, really good. I think so. It's tasty curry rice. Yeah. I mean, I think the tofu was the best thing. The tofu and the oh, peanuts so is a good juicy. combo. Good and combo, definitely crunchy. get those in. Yeah. Um, I think if you want something that's really tasty, a lot of food, and you want to eat well, yeah. come here. There's going to be better pork belly you find other places, but much smaller portion. Yeah, I fully agree the, the pork belly is uh, it's okay. It's not bad, but I think that I've had better pork belly somewhere else. Of course, for the price that we paid here, this amount of food, the quality was pretty good. I think it's not very, very common to eat this kind of curry drowned plated rice dish uh, somewhere else. So we are now heading to our second stop uh, and see where we are heading. This is our second stop of the day, Songfa. It's a pretty popular bakute chain in Singapore and definitely one of my favorites. We ordered two portions of prime spare rib soup, some dough fritters, some gailan veggies, a braised side platter, and two bowls of plain rice. Cheers. First, we're starting off with some barley and lime juice. Have you tried barley? Uh, yes, I have. I think lime juice is my drink. Settled on lime juice being, being the one. All right. Now we can just prepare our uh, sauces. So this uh, dark soy sauce. Oh, it's thick. What we can do is um, we can try the soup already. The reason is. Uh, they have the non-stop refillable soup. Oh, yeah. I see. Whenever your soup goes empty, they will always refill it automatically, actually. So let me know how you like it and what you actually taste in the soup. These are big ribs. <laughs> These are big ribs. <laughs> That's why it's a prime rib one. I'm not 100% sure about the difference of prime rib and normal ribs here, but I always go for the prime rib ones. Um, and they're always tasting quite nice and tender. You can put the chili into the soy sauce, into the dark soy sauce. Yes, the soy sauce is so thick. It's, it's very like, thick. I've seen dark soy sauce, but this is super thick. Almost like gravy. Yeah. So you can take a nice chunk of pork ribs, dip it in the dark soy sauce. It goes very well with the soup and the rice. I feel like if I'm going to be on camera, I need to work on my chopstick skills. Black peppercorns, white peppercorns, garlic bulbs, and salt. Yeah. It's crazy though, because you can taste all of it. Yes. Like, you get the garlic first, and then at the end, like the... Wee oui, wee. Oui. It's gone well. No, it's okay. It's fine. 
brought it up on myself by just saying that I need to work on my chopstick skills and then I dropped the chopstick. <laughs> I was getting too excited about the ball grip. <laughs> but the guy can't hold his chopsticks. So the soup, you say you can taste all the ingredients. It starts with the garlic. Well, that's the thing. It's like, wait, you say it's literally garlic and pepper. Garlic, pepper, salt, I think. Yeah. Yeah, like it's garlicky first and then at the end, like the, the pepperiness on the back of the throat. Yeah, you feel so the... <laughs> you will get there. You will get there. You really feel the pepper, right? Yeah. It's very peppery. But I really love this kind of soup. It's very soothing and very um, um, homey, warm, warm. You can try the uh, the yo tiao, the dou fritters. I hope today they are as hot and crispy as they used to be here, always. Cheers. Cheers. Oh no, they're good. Nice. The pork rib and the dark soy is so good. Together, it's right? So nice. Yeah. The combination with the yeah. dark soy sauce is really nice. Do we have to stay healthy? There's one thing that's tough at Singapore in these kind of meals is getting veggie. Yeah. yeah. And even when you get veggie, getting one that isn't. 80% oils. Yeah. <laughs> but also, I feel like in some places the veggie is just overpriced. It's like $8, $10 for a plate of veggie. Yeah. At home, you can just like buy $1 a pack of from the cold storage or fair price. You have like a bunch of veggie. Yeah. Outside, you can just go for the other stuff that you yeah. cannot make so easily. Braised peanuts. And tofu. I wasn't expecting them to be so soft. Very different to the peanuts at the curry rice place, huh? Completely different texture. <laughs> <laughs> so this is tofu. This is tofu. I think after this we go for a little walk here at Clarkie, and Boat Key. Burn, burn off some food. <laughs> and then we, we can finish off with our last meal for the day. Yeah, I think I might need the walk. <laughs> The soup actually? Yeah, no, the soup is really nice. Really? Mm. Because I had one or two other friends from Germany coming over. Yeah. And they had this meal, but they did not really enjoy and did not drink much of the soup. Yeah. Not sure if it's like maybe you are already Asianized. <laughs> maybe it's a really nice soup. It's like it's quite light, which helps when they keep bringing more. <laughs> and then it, it gets hot again, right? Yeah. It's super nice. How long are you here now in Singapore? Two months in two days' time. Almost two months. So almost two months. He's becoming very local and Singaporean soon. I now have my Red Hill Hawker vegetable uncle. We definitely have to do a video at Red Hill Hawker mm. uh, at some point. I'm still exploring. I need to find some more good stuff. You will. But it's not hard. <laughs> and we've got a German place near us. A German place near you? Well. German supermarket or no it has sausage pork knuckle and beer oh a restaurant mm. okay I don't know if there's many German hawker stands <laughs> I don't think there are at all no, I don't think it's a thing we found a gap in the market I was about there's to say one. <laughs> why not open a, a hawker stall with German food only sausage pork knuckle knödel and um, what else is German Bakery, half hawker store. The sausage is expensive though here. Yeah, that's the thing. It is pretty expensive. You could run a pretty expensive hawker store. No one would come. Yeah. <laughs> Getting pretty full. Me too. We've got to power through. It's got to be done. <laughs> Let's keep going. We're almost there. This is the second meal out of three today. I think we can give some advice already. So yeah, order less. For for <laughs> <laughs> for uh, bakute, for this uh, pork rib soup, or literally translated, uh pork rib tea. You gotta eat it in a restaurant because you can refill the soup as much as you like here, and then it's always hot and fresh. What do you say about this place? Would you bring your girlfriend here? Yes. Does she like pork rib? Yeah, you know, she she eats most things as well. Yeah. Um, maybe not the odd parts of animals, but mm -hmm. same here. Pork rib, no problem. Um, yeah, no, definitely. This place is really nice. Uh, the soup is really good. I 
I think this is enough of a meal on its own. You don't need to go for curry before and curry afterwards. <laughs> it's not needed. It's only if you're foolish you do that. <laughs> like us. What did you like most about this dish? Or about this place? So the pork rib in the dark soy. I haven't had the non-prime rib one, but I can say the prime rib one is very good. It's a really big pork rib. Yeah. So much with meat. The, with the sauce. Best rib I've had in Singapore. <laughs> How many ribs? I, mean, I haven't had that many ribs. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I have four or five ribs now. Yeah? In the last two months. Like, uh, you mean like not just American style kind of rib? No, or no, no, no. Like this, this kind of this kind of rib, yeah, okay. yeah. You get a lot of meat with this one. Mm -hmm. Mine was quite fatty for those who love the juiciness and the tenderness of meat. Definitely go for the prime rib. Yeah, but bring a third person to help you eat it. <laughs> Whoever comes to visit Singapore, um, I think bakute is one of the dishes that you should try. Definitely worth trying. Even if you tried it in Malaysia, it tastes very, very different. It's very herbal taste in Malaysia compared to the very peppery type of soup here in Singapore. So try it. We decided to take a little walk for digestion purposes before we head to our third stop for chicken curry noodle. On the way, our tummies were screaming for some ice cream and we knew just the right place. Yummy Hokkaido ice cream. The recommended flavor is anything matcha, green tea. And it definitely is super delicious. It's tripping. Yeah, it's really difficult. I'm just like, this is actually, a, it's a challenge. <laughs> Walking around Singapore, you always can enjoy some nice sceneries like the colorful windows of the old police station, the Marina Bay Sands Hotel, or the green displays of the Park Royal on Pickering. We wanted to try this chicken curry noodle place, but it's unfortunately closed, we didn't check it properly. So I guess we have to check it out next time. Another day. Since our third plant store was unfortunately closed, we went for a stroll through Chinatown and ended up at this popular dessert place, Mei Heng Yuan. Mango roll? This looks like a chung fun. Yeah, it does. Isn't it? <laughs> Like, this is the grass jelly and the ginger soup with sweet balls. Sweet balls. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Aaron, let's go and try the ginger soup. I mean, it's just going to be ginger tea, right? It is like ginger tea. Oh. Mm. Feel the spice? Yeah, that's. <laughs> <laughs> It would be nice in winter, since we're in December now. Yeah, I mean, it's, a, it's, it's a hot day today. <laughs> it's a fitting December yeah, kind of soup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, what do you think about this spice? I, I don't think it's for me. <laughs> it's not yours? Yeah, I don't think it's for me. No, okay. I have one more. Not that it's going to change anything, <laughs> I have one more. But you're so daring, you always try it. Yeah, of course I try it. But <laughs> It's not yours, right? No. Okay, but then but I have to have a sweet ball. Try the sweet balls. One is black sesame, and one is um, peanut. I think that's that's the peanut. Mm -hmm. What do you think? So let me put it this way: I'm not a big dessert person. <laughs> <laughs> The sweet balls are not so bad. Yeah. It's better than the ginger soup. <laughs> oh, okay, the last thing oh, that you have with you all is uh, the uh, yeah. sesame ball, black sesame. Take me back for the more pork ribs. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's not gone so well, but... 
Oh, did you like it? That one's nicer. Nicer? Yeah, okay. yeah, I prefer the sesame one. Sesame one's nice. So if I have friends from Germany coming over, I rather introduce them to the sesame. Yeah, and without the soup. <laughs> without the soup. <laughs> If they like ginger tea, so I don't like ginger tea either, so. Right. <laughs> this looks like yeah, some like, shrimps in there or some. It does, right? Yeah, it looks like the shrimp roll. Cheers. It's not. Oh, it's literally a piece of mango. Oh. <laughs> now we got now we got mango roll in ginger soup. This has not gone to plan. <laughs> Now it's back to your favorite ginger soup. <laughs> this is the last time I let you take me anywhere for dessert. <laughs> I'm choo I choose the place next time. Mmm, gingery. Give it down, just go away. Take, just it, like a, take it away from me. I'm a big fan of ginger soup with uh, sesame and black uh, with peanut. Peanut balls. And mango roll. Mango roll is actually very refreshing because of the fresh mango that they put in. Nice grass jelly drink. Um, yeah, that was it for today. We had some nice uh, Hainanese curry rice, some um, akute pork rib soup, and um, we saw the outside of a chicken <laughs> chicken curry shop. We saw shop. the outside <laughs> of the shop for the curry chicken noodle. Uh, and it said we went for some ice cream and other desserts. So, hope you enjoyed the video. And see you next time. And let me know if you want to see Arian again. 50-50. <laughs>